Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my December Crafting Club unboxing video. So I'm so excited about this. The box is absolutely huge. So I can imagine we are in for a good box this month. So if you don't know what the Crafting Club is already, I'm going to quickly run you through what they do. So they are a monthly crafting subscription service. So you can actually get £16 off your first box if you're a new customer. So I will leave my refer a friend link below. So if you click through on that link, you will receive £16 off your first box. So boxes usually cost £40 a month, but obviously if you haven't got a box before, you can use that discount code. So you only pay £24 for that first box, which is an amazing deal. So inside a box will be a full-size bottle of craft gin, some snacks, some tonics, some garnishes, a couple of ingredients to make a cocktail, and a magazine. So there's literally so many goodies inside these boxes, and I love getting them. Um, you can sign up for a box every month, every two months, or every quarter. So you can literally sign up to whatever subscription suits your lifestyle the best. So I am an avid Crafting Club subscriber. I absolutely love the service. I'll leave a playlist full of Crafting Club unboxings for you to go and have a look at if you haven't looked at them before. Go and check out November's box, it was amazing. And actually, every box is amazing. I just love them more. There's not been a gin that I haven't enjoyed. So I highly recommend subscribing to their service. And also, it would make a fabulous gift as well. You can also buy gift subscriptions. So do check them out if you are looking for a gin gift for a gin lover this Christmas. Um, because this will be absolutely amazing. So I'm very eager to get into this box. It's absolutely huge. Can you see how big that is? And they've actually got little uh, sort of bauble designs on here as well. So I'm just going to get unboxing. Wow, right. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna see if I can give you a sneak peek what's in the top. Can you see that? Oh, it looks amazing. There's so many goodies in here. So we're gonna start off with the snacks. So the first snack is this giant packet of Tyrell's crisps. These are lightly sea salted flavor. They are 150 grams, so perfect for sharing. I often buy Tyrell's crisps, I do like them. They're a great crisp brand. So I'm very happy to have these in the box. They'll go great for a snack later on. So next up we have this Noor chocolate bar. It is the winter wonder flavor. It's a milk chocolate limited edition and it's vegetarian, which is fab for me. And Noor is actually a Norfolk chocolate brand, which I'm from Norfolk, so I'm very happy to see a local company in this month's Craft Gin Club box. So I cannot wait to try that. We've actually bought a few Noor gifts for Christmas from this year. So I'm super excited for this. So it's got milk chocolate with raisins, cranberries, and biscuits in there. Oh, I cannot wait to eat that later. Okay, next up is a mango and passion fruit juice drink. Now this is by the brand Crafted by Cracker Drinks Co. And we have actually received this before. I think it was in the July's box maybe, or sort of in the summer we had this and made an amazing cocktail. So I'll link that video up here if I can remember which month it was. Um, but it's a really good drink and actually they sell this in Sainsbury's in kind of the big cartons and we've gone on to buy this a few times as well. So happy to have that. Maybe this is what the cocktail is going to be made of this month. The next item in here is a Kind Bar. Now this is a limited edition apple almond spice so it's like a Christmassy flavour. I've not had one of these before but they are a sort of a nut, looks like kind of breakfast bar. And it's 54% nuts, they're gluten free, high in fibre, no artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. And it includes ingredients that you can see and print out, that's quite funny, I like that. So it's kind of a, a natural snack bar. So they've also included a 200ml bottle of Carva, which is very Christmassy, I think Carva just sort of screams Christmas to me. And this is the Codorniu brand, 11.5%. So cute, really tiny, Christmassy little bottle. So I wonder if this is kind of what you need to top up the cocktail with. I hope so. Oh, so we also have another kind bar. I've actually put two in here. So this is a caramel, almond, and sea salt. Now that sounds right on my street. I love anything like sea salty and caramelly. <gasps> oh, maybe I'll have that one later instead. That looks delicious. So the garnishes this month are grapefruit and star anise. You can see that. We've got just some dried grapefruit and some star anise there. We've also got a Christmas mix of nuts and cranberries. This is the Dorman brand. Over this side, we've got the tonics. So we've got the London Essence grapefruit and rosemary tonic water. That sounds interesting. I've never tried a rosemary tonic water or grapefruit tonic water, actually. That does sound delicious. So the cocktail syrup this month is the Gin Star Martini. <gasps> Wow, look at that colour, it's such a vibrant colour. Gin Star Martini. So um, I bet the cocktail is a Gin Star Martini, a bit like a Porn Star Martini, but not. Obviously it's made of gin, because you've got the carver as well, so I'm thinking it's definitely a Gin Star Martini. 
a porn star martini made with gin, basically. We've got another tonic, I think, in here. Yeah, so this is just an original tonic water, again, by the London Essence brand. And this one is another tonic water, which is the London Essence original tonic water as well. Original Indian tonic water. <gasps> Very happy with those. So, oh, it looks so good. Right. Oh, I can always really struggle to get these out of these packs. Wow, 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 wow. So this is the Cotswolds Dry Gin. It's the Cloudy Christmas Gin. So it's literally a Christmas gin. I cannot believe it, this looks amazing. So it says, this exclusive Christmas release, handcrafted in small batches, has been inspired by our award-winning Cotswolds Dry Gin. We have created an even more intense and aromatic spirit thanks to the use of whole fresh fruit, including including seasonal clementine for Christmas twists. The exceptionally high amount of botanicals creates an unequal depth of aroma and flavour. We invite you to visit our beautiful distillery nestled in the North Cotswolds to see yourself how we create our gin and whiskey. So this is distilled exclusively for Craft Gin Club members. So this is a Craft Gin Club exclusive gin, so you will only be able to get your hands on this gin if you are a member of the Craft Gin Club. So if I just bring you in and hide my face so I hope you focus on the bottle, look how beautiful that packaging is. Absolutely stunning. Oh, it's got the most beautiful illustrations on. I love it, I love a Christmas gin, it's so cool. So that is the gin this month. Gosh, this is an absolutely jam-packed box this month. Oh, so happy. So we've also got the magazine that comes every single month. So I'm gonna quickly run you through what's in here. So I'm just gonna get these little leaflets out first. So this is a overview of everything we receive in the box. This is the Spirit of Christmas. So this box was worth over £73. That's including the magazine and the delivery charge. So here is a bit more information about the Christmas gin. So if I just read you the information here. So the Cloudy Christmas Gin, an exclusive edition distilled in the Cotswolds, UK. Botanicals are juniper, angelica, grapefruit, clementine, lavender, cardamom, black pepper, bay leaf and coriander. So the tasting notes, it says, on the nose, expect old citrus led by the Christmassy aroma of clementine. The liquid rich in oils from the citrus fruits has a velvety smooth mouthfeel and a traditional flavor profile. As the flavors dissipate, you're left with a long lingering finish of juniper, cardamom, and Cotswolds lavender. I love juniper, it's one of my favorite flavors. So the Craft Gin Club's Perfect g and is 50 ml of the gin, 200 ml of original Indian tonic water by London Essence and the grapefruit and star anise to finish. And I love the glass of that in, it looks very Christmassy. And the cocktail is a gin star martini. I thought it would be a sort of pond star martini variant. So to make the gin star martini, you use 50 ml of the gin, 25 ml of the syrup, 75 ml of the mango and passion fruit juice, you can garnish with half a passion fruit or a slice of lime and then you have the 50 ml of the kava to serve on the side. Usually that comes in like a little shot glass, doesn't it, when you, if you order a corn star martini. So this looks amazing, so festive and so Christmassy. I might um, have to treat myself to that when I'm wrapping presents this evening. Oh wow, look how beautiful the Cotswolds looks. Literally, whenever I see anything about the Cotswolds, it just reminds me of the holiday, that Christmassy film, so that's filmed in the Cotswolds. So they've got some amazing things in here, all about the distillery and all about how they make their gin. You've then got how to host a cosy retro Christmas. Philip Schofield's come out with his own Christmassy gin for the Craft Gin Club. So you can also buy that if you're a member. If you head over to the website, I'll also link it below. And if you're a member, you get 10% off. But I think you can probably buy it if you're not a member as well. It's got some other Christmassy cocktails you can make. So this one's a Cotswold St. Clements with the gin, orange juice, lemon tonic, and lemon and mint to garnish, a winter spice which is made from gin, orange juice, Grand Marnier, ginger liqueur, one clove and orange peel. It's got some cocktails you can make with the carver, so a Christmas and Time Royale, that looks really nice. This one's that, that's the one down here with the um, rosemary to garnish. This one's a gold sparkler, an amaretto 75 and a Christmas spritz. So lots of fab Christmassy cocktails to make there. This is actually eggnog. I've never had eggnog, because anyone else has never tried eggnog before. Tell you how to make the eggnog. It says three eggs, caster sugar, whole milk, double cream, brandy, gin, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and cinnamon sticks. I might have to try that. These ones look really cool. These very, very Christmassy. So you've got like the candy cane one, 
got a Rudolph's Martini, the orange, chocolate orange, and a white Christmas. I've also got some Christmassy recipes in here. So this is Boozy Cranberry Relish. It's like how to make kind of a cranberry sauce. It'll be perfect for your Christmas dinner. And oh, it's just absolutely jam-packed. So I guess that's it. So that is my December Crafting Club box unboxed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed because I do these unboxings every single month and I have so much other content on my channel which I'm sure you'd love. So do make sure you are subscribed. Uh, just click that little red box down in the description bar and that means you are subscribed to my channel. And also give this video a like if you did like it. It really helps my channel out. And let me know if you received this box and what you thought of the box in the comment section below. I'd love to have a conversation with you all. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you for my next one. Bye! Was the night before Christmas I was close